On June 5th, 793, a storm was approaching the shores of the Kingdom of Northumbria. A few months earlier, Althing, the Council of Vikings, made the decision to plunder its largest abbey, the famous Lindisfarne. One of the leaders of this expedition was Jarl Ulf Ironbeard, a stern but respected man among his people. However, it wasn't meant for all of the Northmen to reach Lindisfarne by the sea. A storm that hit the coast of Northumbria has scattered some of their ships miles away from their destination. Ulf's raiding party landed near a town called Bambara. The Northmen saw it as an easy target to plunder. Little did they know that all of Northumbria was just coming out of a bloody civil war. Troops of a new King Ethel were battling remnants of recently murdered King Osred's royal army. For this reason, heavy garrisons were scattered throughout the country, and one of them was stationed just outside Bambara. like this storm has set us all off the course. We'll never break through with those archers shooting at us! Let's try to encircle them. There should be another way along the shore. Look! It's Olaf and his shield bearers. They're pinned down by those archers. They will chase the Raxes! Charge! We need to help move forward! Everyone! 
We need to destroy these buildings to prevent reinforcements. Gods are with us. It stopped raining. Now we can burn everything down. Yourselves! They're coming in great numbers! We will not best them! Retreat! Into the woods! Overwhelmed by the forces of the enemy, cut off from their ships, the Northmen had to escape. Those who did not retreat in time lost their lives or became captives. Once harsh invaders looking for prey, the Northmen suddenly became prey themselves. Luckily, they found salvation in a nearby forest, which became their temporary shelter. Here, they could catch a moment of respite from the pursuing Britons. Here, Jarl Ulf Ironbeard, who suffered injuries during the fight, could heal his wounds and recover. However, a new problem arose for the people of the North. In order to survive and to have any chance to join the rest of the expedition against Lindisfarne, they had to gather food and supplies. You made it! Good to see you alive, Jarl. We retreated as soon as they started winning the battle in the village. We lost many good men in there, and many were taken hostage. Tonight, they dine in Valhalla. Look! It's our scout! He's back! I found food supplies. There is a farm and a hunting hut north from here. If we plunder both places, we will have food for many days. We cannot go! We need to patch our wounds. Take care of your warriors, brother. I'll get those supplies. That's Yordor. Poor bastard. His squad must have wandered off when we retreated from the beach. It seems like they wanted some food and got killed by the Brits. Fools. Wait. There's a blood trail. Maybe someone survived. We need to find out. A corpse. One of us must have fallen to those filthy Brits. It's Sven. It was his first raid. Bastards! He must have escaped the Christians. But they got him eventually. The Brits. They must have taken our brothers. We have to get them out. There's too many of them. We should eliminate one squad at a time. If we burn this village, someone will come to check what's going on. Great job! Two more to go. This camp looks like a good place to rest. Don't shoot! I'm a Northman like you. I managed to escape. Where are the others? In the other camp. You'll need men to set them free, and you need to hurry up. The Brits want to set them on fire as an act of revenge. Good to see you. 
I saw a party of bricks heading in that direction. They want our wood. We need it to repair ships and build siege machines. This is how I joined the Northmen in their raid on Lindisfarne. Ethel had held me captive for months, and that was my chance to get even. When Jarl Ulf Ironbeard regained his strength and we collected enough supplies, we could finally head on to join the rest of the expedition. However, the road to Lindisfarne was not an easy one. Every once in a while, we encountered Ethel's troops. Our supplies ran out faster than we were able to loot the surrounding villages. It was then that the scouts noticed an approaching caravan with food and weapons. We prepared an ambush, not expecting that someone else was preparing to attack it as well. Talk to Raga, our chieftain. Who are you people? We are loyal to the past king, Osred II. Betrayed by the new king, Aethelred. We're waiting here to retaliate. And you? These are Northmen who have been beaten during their raid near Bambara. Now they have to join their forces near Lindisfarne. Well, the road to Lindisfarne is blocked. We'll help you take the enemies down, but we need supplies first. There are two villages nearby. Let's force peasants to gather food and wood for us. Uh, seek the woods nearby. The enemies will surely try to reclaim the villages. Uh, take some of our soldiers with them. resources. The only thing left is to get better equipment. We need to capture the iron mine and craft ourselves better armors. Only then we can assault the outpost. I'll send one squad with you. Now, give them hell. Grateful. Now it's time to part our ways. Best of luck, and let's hope to meet again. This life or another. I do not know if we could have broken the Britain's garrison without the help of Hrothgar. Now our paths were parting, and this mighty son of Northumbria was setting out to continue his struggle against Ethel's army. As for us, we could head to Lindisfarne. There was only one obstacle left on our way. A heavily guarded bridge to the island where the monastery was situated. To overcome it, we needed additional manpower. While Jarl Ulf started to prepare our troops, the scouts reported on the Viking ships circling the shore. For some reason, however, they maintained a distance and there was no way to contact them. Brothers, the glory is ahead. This bridge is our last obstacle on the way to Lindisfarne. Unfortunately, 
There's an enemy outpost blocking us. We need to prepare for this battle. All right. Luckily for us, there are two villages nearby. Thank you for saving us, my friend. Right on time. We are here to make way for our ship's landing. They should be here soon. Let's use this time to prepare our forces. They're coming! What the...? Someone is attacking them! We need to make sure they make it to the landing. We knew that attacking the Lindisfarne Bridge head-on was nothing short of the very height of folly. Jointly, we called for a general revamp and set off for Wayside Farms, aware that our empty bellies were the worst of advisors. Strengthened, we were able to push the Britons off the bridge, drowning the escapees in deep waters. In joy, we rejoined with our brothers, and now we were up to any challenge. And with the last line of defense gone, the path to Lindisfarne laid before us. We eagerly rushed the monastery, expecting easy victory. Yet we were wrong. As the notoriety of our actions spread over the countryside, the abbey filled with zealous defenders, a hard fight was brewing behind those walls. And to be frank, we couldn't wait to test our strength. Here we are, the Lindisfarne Abbey. I don't recall it being so fortified. Our camp is ready for expansion. We need a whole army. The villages nearby must become our resources. There is also an enemy garrison to the north. They will try to stop our expansion for sure. This damaged wall looks like our entry point. Though it will take a siege machine to tear the walls down. Spear! We're tougher now! There is a defense camp before the walls. We have to burn it down before moving on. It's Rothgar and his men. They have catapults. It should help. Just been abandoned like that. Look, these are Ragnar's trackers. It's late as usual.
Isfahan fell. With heavy bags encumbering us from the gold and trinkets, I boarded the ship, leaving for another adventure. Later, I heard my countrymen claim such terror has never plagued the homeland. I've seen my share of suffering too. I lived through it and survived. And let me tell you, this is just a start, as the age of the Vikings has just begun.